the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today I had the, the strangest day. <laughs> Something happened to me. Um, I went to uh, the masjid to the mosque. To, uh, I had an interview and then I was there. And there was a Sunday school uh, that they teach Quran and Islamic studies. And um, uh, I went to uh, pray uh, Duhur, um at that time. And I was sitting in the masjid. And then one of the teachers came to me and she looked like she's worried. She told me that, um, uh, that come on, Sister Ruba, I want you in something really important. I was like, what's going on? She said, there is an eight, girl, uh, eight years old girl. She wants to leave Islam and she wants to become Christian. I was like, what? <laughs> eight years old? She, she said, yes. I told her why. She said because she say that uh, uh, Jesus is God and that God has a mother and she wants to worship uh, this God and she doesn't want to go to Jannah and so on. I was like, man, this is crazy. Let me talk to this girl. She said, okay, after prayer. So we prayed Dhuhr and then afterward I went to see her and it was obvious that she was a refugee one of the refugees and it is known here in America that refugees are uh, the victim of the Christian evangelism and Christian uh, groups and so I wasn't really surprised when I saw her and she said that she's going to become a Christian so I talked to her and she didn't want to even smile at my face I was like what's going on why are you sad she said uh, I don't want to tell you I said okay then uh, do you want to get a friend with you so we can sit together? She so she said okay. So she brought her friend, and um, she her friend is like in her age, and we sat together. And I was like, can I know what's going on with you? I heard that you want to leave Islam and become Christian, and she said, yes, I want to become Christian. And I said, why? She said because um, because there are tests, and I don't, I hate tests. I I hate going to school. I said, okay, so you do you, you want to leave Islam because you want to leave school? Is that why? Because you want to go to, uh, to uh, you don't want to go to school? Is that why? She said yes. So I left because I was like, this is a really silly reason. And I asked her, you know, but you know that what you said was really big. You know, you can leave school, but why you want to leave Islam? She said, I want to go to church. It's better than here. I was like, okay. Uh, let uh, you know that I used to go to church when I was in your age and I was Christian and became Muslim. She was like, what? How come? How come you become Muslim? I told her because I made a very smart decision. I read the Bible and I read the Quran. I found that the truth is in Islam. She said, how come? You know, and so I start to explain to her about Islam. And then I told her, you know, that Christians believe that Jesus is God and just be, imagine I told her, imagine that your friend that she's sitting right next to you that uh, uh, she she can become God is that right uh, she looked at her and her friend she was like no this is wrong I said is that right tell me she said no that doesn't make any sense that's right I told her yes that's right a human is not God and God does not take a shape of a human. So Christian, that's what Christians believe. Do you want to believe like this? She said, no. I told her, then God loves you. And Allah wants you to see that you're a very special person. And uh, he wants to take you to Jannah. So that's why you have to, to do whatever it pleases him. She said, I don't want to go to Jannah. I said, okay, then you want to go to Jahannam? She said, what? I said, you want to go to hellfire? She said, no, I don't want to go to hellfire. I was like, okay, then there are two ways only, either Jannah or Jahannam. Which one do you want? So she said, I want to go to Jannah and so on. So I went with her like for 45 minutes showing her what is uh, Islam, what is Christianity and what the, like, the modern Christians believe. And um, I told her a little bit about my story, how I became Muslim. And I told her which smart decision would you take you know when you grow up you maybe ha will have all the time and she's really smart she is a very smart girl i mean uh a, somebody to say something like that and to think about christianity and islam and about different religions usually 
happen when you're like 13 or 14 years old when you start thinking about this stuff but to see somebody from eight years old to think about this stuff is just like so smart and I told her you're very smart you I'm so proud of her that she thinks this way and we kind of like became really good friends right and uh, she said she said to me at the end that uh, uh, that she wants to do the right decision and she wants to stay Muslim uh, not because of her friends, not because of the school, not because of the uh, people around her, but because uh, this decision is her decision. She's doing it for herself, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not because of other people, what they say or what they think. And uh, she said because her friends and in school, they've been telling her about this stuff and she thinks that they're cool and so that's why she wants to be like them. And I told her, you know, you can be cool as Muslim and stay you know like them and uh, she said she wants to tell them that what they're believing in is not right i told her this is great you need to go and tell them that but do you think that they will change their mind she said i don't know i said if they change their mind that's great but that doesn't mean that you have if they didn't ch change their mind you don't become friend with them you need to stay friend with them and uh, and so on so yes um my uh, my message to you guys, and this is what I see also with other people that they become, they want to leave Islam. Most of them, they don't have any problem with Aqidah. They don't have a problem with a doctrine, with God is one, and, you know, that they believe in all the prophets. Most people that they leave Islam, not because of that, but because of emotional impact or because of some in people influence them in some way or because they see that the church is giving and that the masjid and the Muslims don't give or because, uh, for example, like it's mostly like emotional or psychological effect that make those people to leave Islam. And this is my my um, my message to them is, don't think about leaving Islam just because you see other people from other faiths do different, you know, that do better than Muslims. Yes, Muslims are not perfect, but Islam is perfect. Yes, maybe you are with the wrong people of Muslims. Um, and uh, they need to think before they take this big decision. They need to study more about Islam. I, I believe that most of the people that they leave Islam, they are totally ignorant about Islam and they don't know um, um, enough about Islam or what they know about what they see from the media. Even Muslims that they come from a Muslim country, most of them they don't know their religion unfortunately just like we see here in america that a lot of people they say that they're christians that they have no idea what the bible has inside it and so um that's just my advice to you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll continue next time